My name is Ken Corwin and I teach the Michigan Mechanical Exam Prep Course and it is here, the 2021 Self-Study Guide. So in the Self-Study Guide, it covers the 2021 Michigan Mechanical Code, 2021 International Field Gas Code, and the ACA Manual D-Book. We touch on the 2015 Michigan Residential Code and it will eventually go to the 2021 Code. And what you will receive in the self-study course will be the green workbook and a flash drive inside a yellow packet and it will come inside this two-day USPS shipping package. Once I ship it out to you I will send you a photo of the shipping receipt with tracking number. So this green workbook we are going to cover the exam application start to finish on the flash drive. We're going to cover Public Act 230 of 1972 and Act 407 of 2016. Every test you take has 5 to 10 law-based questions that you need to know. It is no longer a standalone test, and I will cover those law-based questions in these public acts. We will get into the law exam. You will have a test in this green workbook that has 51 law-based questions. You have to pass every test by 75%. So category two HVAC equipment, the big test, you've got to get 112 right. Every other test, you've got to get 42 correct in order to pass. And we'll cover that in this law exam, everything you need to know as a mechanical contractor in that first video. And then here is a sample test. Behind each test in this green workbook is a master answer sheet. The master answer sheet will tell you the section where you can find the answer so this is for the fuel gas code. You don't need to know the section. You just need to know A, B, C, or D. But behind each section in this green workbook is the master answer sheet. After the law exam, we're going to cover the international fuel gas code. We're going to go through this book from front to back. We're going to show you how to use the definitions. We're going to show you how to use venting tables, gas pipe sizing tables. All of it will be in here. Using the code book index table of contents to the body of the code. So we will cover that book. Next section is your Michigan Mechanical Code Test 2021 MMC book. Same thing. We're going to cover all these questions. And in the back is a master answer sheet. So we're going to cover this book, which will be your main book that you're going to use. There are 95 questions that I have made that come out of this book to show you how to use this book. Again, 90 questions out of your 150 question test will probably come out of that book. Manual D. Manual D is a tougher book to use. There's a lot of formulas in here you typically don't use every day when you're out in the field. So we're going to cover this, tell you how to use the formulas, the charts, and cover that on the flash drives. Heating service inside this green workbook. There's a heating and a cooling service test to prepare you for the heating and cooling service exams. Category 5 and 6 for heating, category 7 and 8 for cooling. So that will be in there and we'll cover that. HVAC test 3 in this green workbook. This is designed so when you are ready to take category 2, this is a test that combines all three code books, mechanical code, fuel gas code, and the manual D book. It's designed based about half the size of the main test, so you give yourself an hour and a half, go through here, see how well you do to see if you're ready for the test. So this green workbook you will get in the mail, and it is going to have all the information in here. It's all single page, so you can write on the back. You cannot take this into the exam site, but it definitely is something you want to get and you want to use to study for your exam. So on the flash drive itself, you have a file for hydronic heating and cooling process piping. On that file, you are going to see a Word document. Open that up. It's going to tell you what you need to take in, references, some feedback on the test, which sections of the code book to use to study. That will be on that document. You will have a sample hydronic heating and cooling test with master answer sheet, copy of the ASMEC DS1, and Boiler Act 290 Boiler Code Rules. Category 4, refrigeration, walk-in coolers, freezers, 
Same thing, Word document. It's going to tell you what to study, what parts of the code book to look at, and a couple links to read only ASHRAE standards. You will have a sample refrigeration test with answer guides and a couple EPA 608 documents to help you freshen up on EPA 608. There is a welcome video you want to wa watch that's more detailed than this video I'm making for YouTube that's going to cover what is on this flash drive. You have a Word document that is going to contain information, another welcome, tells you about video number two, video number six, a couple things to know there. Gives you references to my channel, application for exam, Excel a website. So there's a lot of information where you can find the code books, where you can find the turbo tabs. Everything will be in this document. So that is something that will be on the flash drive. Mechanical exam application process. So in your green workbook, first tab we have is exam application. So I am going to cover that from front to back and how to fill out that application and get it into the state of Michigan. Then I have the PSI mechanical exam bulletin. So that's going to take you through the bulletin and it's going to show you how to use the PSI system to your advantage, how to use the computer to your advantage with a little exam practice there. So that's very helpful as well. Law exam information, every test you take, you're going to have five to 10 law based questions. So this is a longer video. It covers Public Act 230 in 1972, Public Act 407 of 2016, and Chapter 1 of your Mechanical Code Book. So when you go through this section, you will know what you need to know as a mechanical contractor if you're going to go on your own. And it will show you how to pass the mechanical questions you're going to see on the exam. International Fuel Gas Code. This video is going to take you from front to back of the Fuel Gas Code. Get into the definitions, show you how to use a code book. How to use the vending tables, gas piping tables for questions on your test. Michigan Mechanical Code 2021. This video is going to take you th from front to back as well. Not as many tables and charts, but there's a lot of information in this book. This is a book you are going to spend the most time in when you take your test. Out of the 150 questions, probably 90 come out of here, 30 come out of the Fuel Gas Code Book, and 30 out of the Manual D. The MRC prep video is going to cover the 2015 Michigan Residential Code. And when that changes to the 2021, it'll be the same. It's just a brief update, what the code does, what it's meant for, and that's just a tool for you to use. Manual D book. You don't see this a lot out in the field. Probably when you're doing it, use a computer-based program. So this is going to take you from front to back in the Manual D. It's going to show you how to use the formulas that are in there and all the tables and charts in the book. Heating and cooling service test that are in the green workbook, short video on that, uh, gives some other references. Talks about test number three here and item number 11 again, just covers that in more detail. Video number 12, last minute day of instructions. So just some information on there for you to have. And then there's a video on how to install turbo tabs. Michigan went from the 2018, the 2015 actually, to the 2021 code. So here's a 2018 code update for both International Fuel Gas Code Mechanical Code, and then from 18 to 2021. So here's a couple documents that's going to help you see what changed from 2015 to 2021. Public Act, Senate Bill 60. This was a bill that was given from Senator Victory was the one who introduced it. This is what created Public Act 407. So this is in here as well. And then this clarification here is if your contractor you work for will not sign, here's an email from Senator Victory on how to proceed from that. So you got an application for your mechanical exam. There's this in here. Then the work experience document that the state of Michigan. So you open these up, you can fill them out, type them out, there's a video in the application process that covers that. Contractors change, again, these two videos I cover in the application process number three. Same with the contractor name change. And the PSI Candidate Information Bulletin, I have included that in here. Uh, the reason for that is as you go through your test, there are some links on here you can click on to take you right to where you need to be when you go to that process. So this is the self-study course. In here is a lot of information. This is what you're going to get on the flash drive. You'll get the workbook and all this information. So I'll leave the information below on how to purchase that. The information will be on my website as well. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at the information on my website.